Hi everyone, I hope you're all having an amazing day. As some of you might know, I spent close to two weeks observing and taking videos and stills of a beautiful tiny little jumping spider species, the very colorful common peacock spider. I saw the first one last year and I had been waiting so eagerly to spot another one and I finally got lucky in early October when I saw a beautiful male again. Later I discovered a relatively large cluster nearby and I kept going back for about a couple of weeks every single day and I took heaps of footage and plenty of images and I will show you a selection of those images right at the end of this video. But before that I'd like to share some really cool and interesting facts about these beautiful little creatures that are the peacock spiders. The last few weeks I've been trying to learn about peacock spiders as much as possible and I found two articles or scientific papers online that have helped me understand uh, how magnificent these creatures are. The first one is a quick guide that was written by Madeline B. Girard and John A. Endler. You can find this article on cell.com, current biology, and I'll be sharing all the amazing facts from this article. But I also want to mention another scientific paper that is very significant in terms of studying peacock spiders. That one was written by Eugen Otto and David Hill. I will leave a link to both of these resources for you so you can have a closer look and delve into the world of peacock spiders yourself. You might already know Eugen Otto as some of his peacock spider videos went absolutely viral a couple of years ago. I will leave a link to his channel as well. You should definitely check out some of his videos. They are pretty cool and super fascinating. Anyway, let's learn a couple of amazing facts about peacock spiders. So again, all the following information that I'll be sharing with you is from the quick guide written by Madeline Girard and John Endler. What is a peacock spider, you might ask? Peacock spiders are small, two to six millimeter jumping spiders belonging to the genus Maradus, and they are only endemic or native to Australia. Males generally have very conspicuously colorful abdomens as well as elongated third legs that are brown, black, and often tipped with white brushes. By contrast, females are cryptically colored, usually mottled brown or beige. During courtship, a male peacock spider will raise his abdomen and wave it at a female in synchrony with his third pair of legs. Males of many species also have lateral flaps that can be extended from their abdomen like a fan. This fan structure with remarkable ornamentation resembles that of a peacock, hence their common name. When and where are they found, you might ask? Peacock spiders are most active during their breeding season, which is the Australian spring. Mature males emerge as early as August and persist in large numbers up until December. Mature females tend to appear a little later, but they also become quite scarce by December when they tuck themselves away to lay and guard XX. Peacock spiders are widespread across the southern half of Australia and live in a diverse range of habitats. The majority of peacock spider species are ground dwelling and are predominantly found on leaf litter under eucalypt woodlands. What do they eat and how do they hunt? Peacock spiders are diurnal and cursorial hunters that primarily feed on insects and other spiders. The evolution of an acute visual system certainly originated as an adaptation for stalking prey. This development also facilitated a kind of wandering lifestyle which enables jumping spiders to encounter many different types of habitats, unlike their ancestors that usually just sit around and wait for prey. How do males produce their visual signals? Tiny scales and hairs produce the distinctive color patterns observed across the group. These special scales reflect light both in the visible and in the ultraviolet range in the UV range. The iridescent colors that are observed across many species are due to these multi-layer reflectors. In contrast to this structural color, the red and yellow patches of Maradus males instead arise from pigmented brush-like hairs. Maradus males are one of the most brightly colored and sexually dimorphic of the salticids. Let's talk about how special their visual system is. They have eight eyes which provide them with an exceptional ability to perceive both motion and depth. Specialized structures in their primary eyes have also allowed them to approach the physical limit of optical resolution for their compact size. Their minimum resolution angle, acuity, is comparable to that of ours, is about 0.04 degrees, which is quite close to ours and definitely considerably better than that of the best insects. Jumping spiders are easily distinguished by their large anterior median eyes, the large forward-facing eyes in the middle. These eyes are also equipped with a telephoto lens. They also possess a teared retina with each layer containing photoreceptor cells of distinct absorption spectra, which means that these photoreceptors are specialized in the absorption of a specific wavelength of light. This results in an amazing color vision 
much better than ours. Humans have only three photoreceptors and no sensitivity for UV. The region in their brain that is used for visual processing is much larger than in other similarly sized arthropods and color learning has been demonstrated as well. Besides these visual cues or visual signals, they also use other signals for communication. For example, marauder males tend to use their abdomens to create vibrations during their courtship behavior. Although males appear to be drumming their third legs on the ground, in fact, the majority of percussive energy is produced by the abdominal contact with the substrate. In addition to visual and vibratory signals, they also make great use of chemical communication. Jumping spiders do not build webs, but they constantly produce silk when they move about. They produce these so-called drag lines to secure themselves when they change position. You can spot that in many of my videos, especially if you look closer. They produce specific contact pheromones. Contact pheromones are commonly found in these drag lines and are detected by chemoreceptors on both the legs and palps. The reason why these contact pheromones are extremely important is because in the absence of visual cues, they can also trigger male courtship. Last but not least, we should talk a little more about their courtship behavior, which I find absolutely fascinating. Peacock spiders have very elaborate courtship, even by jumping spider standards. During a search for a mate, a male will periodically stop at the top of a perch, waving their third pair of legs, trying to get the attraction of any nearby females. When a male finally spots a female, he may begin courtship by starting to produce vibrations. If the female orients towards the male, the male will raise his abdomen, extend his abdominal fan flaps, and wave the whole structure back and forth, accompanied by third leg movements that accentuate this dance. Male courtships can range from a few minutes up to a few hours, depending on how the female reacts. If the male is not attacked and the female doesn't flee, it will keep vibrating while slowly approaching her. When he's about the distance of one body length from the female, he commences what is known the pre-mount display. This display lasts until the male completes his advance and attempts and mount with the female. Copulation usually ranges from a few minutes, but it can last up to an hour or even more. Anyway, these are all the interesting facts that I wanted to share with you about peacock spiders. There's still so much to learn about them and I can't wait to see what new details will be revealed down the track. I hope you find this video interesting. If you did then please leave a like, comment and if you are new here please subscribe. Now let's have a look at the images. I hope you'll like them. Thank you so much again for watching and see you guys very soon in the next one.